Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. So today in this tutorial we are discussing about a pattern program. We want to print numbers in the right triangle shape. So you may ask what is new in that? We already printed numbers in the right triangle shape, right? But unlike the stars, in the number pattern we can do many combination. We printed this pattern, we printed this pattern. Today we are doing this pattern, okay? And this pattern is quite different from the other patterns. Till now, here we can see we printed like this 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4 or 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Today here we can see we are printing like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15, okay? So this pattern is little bit different. We can say we are printing numbers in the column wise. Okay. So first of all, I will show you how our program will print the numbers. Okay. If this is the row and column. Okay. So first it will print in the row 0, column 0. Okay. Next it will go to row 0, column 1. Next row 0, column 2. Row 0, column 3. Column 4. After printing one row, okay, after completing one row, it will go to the next row and it will print at column 0, column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, okay. It will print like this. So that means I need to print 1 first, next 2 and 6, next 3, 7, 10, 4, 8, 11, 13, 5, 9, 12, 14, 15. So we have to print like this. So we'll see how to do that, okay. So first. Okay, so first in the Python file, first I'll take the basic program, okay? If I want to print any star or number in the right triangle shape, then there is a basic structure, right? That is, first we'll take the input, okay? For that I'll take a variable called num and here I'll take int input. Here we can take any message, here I'll take enter the number of rows. Why it is int input? Because in Python 3, by default, input function will take input as string. But here we want integer number. That's why int input. Okay. So it will convert the input to integer. So next, our pattern program contains two for loop. One for loop is for row and another for loop is for column. Right. So we'll take nested for loop and here it'll take for row in range. Okay. So this is for the row. So here I need to mention how many rows I want. I want num rows, right? Here we ask the user to enter the number of rows and we store that in the variable num. So I want num rows. So here I'll mention num. So you know, in the range, if I, if I just mention one value, then that is the stopping value. Start will be zero. So here range will be from zero to num. And if you want to take it from one, then you need to take one to num plus one. Okay, you can take anything. So next, there will be another for loop for column. So call is the variable name. How many columns I want? So while printing the pattern in the right triangle shape, if it is 0 through 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so in the 0th row, I want one value. In first row, I want two value. In second row, I want three value. Okay. So here I want row plus one. Right. If row is zero, I want one value. That is why row plus one. If row is one, I want two value. Okay. So like that. And here we'll take print. Here we'll print what we want to print. I'll keep that empty now because we'll see what we need to print later. Okay. Here I'll take end is equal to empty string and here we'll take print this is for the new line after each row i want new line okay i want to go to the next line that's why this print and here end is equal to empty string because we want to keep the control in the same line okay after printing one value we want to keep the control in the same line that's why here we take end is equal to the space all right and this is the basic structure. I think I explained about this three or four times in this series, right? 
now we want to print pattern like this okay so while printing some patterns in python we need to write the formula to get that pattern we need formulas here we can see as i said first we need to print 1 after that 2 6 3 7 10 4 8 11 13 5 9 12 14 15 so to print like this first i need to print the common factor okay whenever you want to print a pattern you need to find out the common factor okay so first what i'll do is here first here we can see we need to print one okay that's okay here this is the row value okay here row zero and value i want to print is one okay i can take it as row plus one and i can print that okay i can print one no problem with that if i go to this i want to print two and six here also first value is two when row is equal to one i want to print value as two so i can take it as row plus one okay i can print value it is easy but to how to print six so for that what i'll do is i'll find out the difference between this okay what is 6 minus 2 it is 4 right next i'll find out 7 minus 3 what is that 4 8 minus 4 that is 4 9 minus 5 that is 4 that is nothing but the difference between the column 1 and column 0 is 4 okay next i'll move to this column 2 and column 1 and i'll find out the difference 10 minus 7 that is 3 11 minus 8 that is 3 12 minus 9 that is 3 okay so the difference between the column 2 and column 1 is 3 next i'll move to the column 3 and column 2 13 minus 11 that is 2 right 14 minus 2 that is 2 so the difference between column 3 and column 2 is 2 next last we'll move to the last value 15 minus 14 what is that 1 right so that is difference between column 4 and 3 is 1 okay so here we can see 4 3 2 1 keeping this value we can write a formula how i'll show you now so now first of all what is 4 here okay so this is the output when the num value is 5 okay so here we can see total 5 rows that's why when num value is 5 we'll get this output so here we can see the difference is 4 what is 4 4 is nothing but num minus 1 right okay so the first difference is the num minus 1 between two column next is num minus 2 next is num minus 3 next is num minus 4 okay so here i'll show you first to print the value i'll write row plus 1 so here i'll take a variable called value and i'll take row plus 1 why this because here we can see the first value is here 1 okay i want to print 1 what is 1 here row value is 0 that is nothing but row plus 1 okay next here we can see 2 okay so here row value is 1 i can write it as row plus 1 okay i can write this first value of each row as row plus 1 okay so that's why here in the rowth for loop i took a variable val and i took row plus one so here if i print value now okay so it will print the row value so i'll show you okay here we can see one two three four five we got this first part okay so the first column of each row now we need to concentrate on the remaining columns okay okay so here we printed this one okay we don't want to print any other column here so i'll move to the next row row one so here we'll print two using that row plus one it will print that next i want to print six so to print six what i'll do is i'll add four to this value okay because here we can see the difference between this column one and column zero is four right so i'll add four to this so here what i'll do is i'll take a variable called decrementer or incrementer you can take anything here i'll take num minus one because when the num value is five 
this difference between the column 1 and column 0 is 4 okay that's why num minus 1 here I'll take value is equal to value plus decrementer so that's nothing but here we can see after printing 2 I want to print 6 right so for that I'll add 4 to this 2 okay what is this for 4 is nothing but the value of the variable decrementer right so that's why here I added this now if I save this and run this fine here we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so we got the column 1 also now we are done with this part now we need to concentrate on the remaining part remaining column okay so for that so here we printed this 1 2 6 okay next I don't want to print anything so I'll move on to the next row 3 7 we'll print this next I want to print 10 what is the difference here 10 minus 7 is 3 okay so now here I need to decrement the decrement value by 1 because here the difference is 3 here difference is 2 here difference is 1 right so here what I'll do is I'll take next statement as decrement minus 1 okay so that is nothing but here this value will print the row value okay so for example so here for this row okay second row so first we need to print 3 what is 3 3 is nothing but 2 plus 1 okay so that's why here we took value is equal to row plus 1 row is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 value become 3 so it will print 3 first next it will print space okay next it will go to this statement value is equal to value plus decrementer here decrementer is nothing but if the num value is 5 then here it is 4 okay so it will add 4 to this value so here it will become 3 plus 4 7 so it will print this 7 okay next here we can see we decremented the, this value by 1 okay so now decremented value become 3 all right so again while printing this value it will print value as 7 and here value plus decrementer it becomes 7 plus 3 10 so it will print this 10 okay so if I save this and run this now we can see the value 1 2 3 4 5 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 okay so it is not in the proper format so for that I'll use format here so format I'll give the space as so I won't explain here anything about the format because I made a video on this and I explained how, how to print the star or numbers in the proper format okay I'll give you the link in the description box go and check that so now if I save this and run this okay it will print the pattern in the proper format all right okay now if you have any confusion so I'll explain you how this code will work for another row okay so for example I'll take this row okay here row is 3 and I want to print the first value as 4 okay so it will come here okay row value is 3 now hmm? so value is equal to row plus 1 so value become 4 now so here decrementer is num minus 1 here this output is for num value 5 so 5 minus 1 it will become 4 okay it will come here in the for loop so row plus 1 row value is 3 3 plus 1 4 okay initially column value will be 0 and it will print the value okay what is value value is nothing but row plus 1 that is nothing but 4 it will print 4 okay next value equal to value plus decrementer so decrementer is nothing but 4 so it will add 4 to this value so it value become 8 okay and decrementer will be decremented by 1 so it becomes 3 again for loop will be executed it will print the next value that is nothing but 8 okay next it will come here value plus decrementer decrementer is 3 so here 8 plus 3 that is 11 and decrementer will be decremented by 1 so it will become 2 again it will print this value 
so here the value is 11 so it will print that and it will come here the 11 plus 2 because decrementer is 2 so that will become 13 and here decrementer will become 2 minus 1 that is 1 okay again it will go here it will print this value so value become 13 and it will come here 13 plus 1 14 and decrementer will become 0 but that time for loop will be over okay it range will be covered okay so it won't print the next value it will come out of that for loop and it will execute the next row okay so in this way it will print the output so that's about this pattern so if you have any doubt don't forget to comment below and if you know any other way to write this program don't forget to share with us that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care